Hi, this is a continued demonstration of my Common Lisp roguelike game, Detome, for the Common Lisp Spring Games Jam 2011. So, in the previous demonstration, I had a lot of the technical stuff worked out, such as moving around the game world and um, line of sight and stuff like that. What was really lacking, though, was the gameplay itself, and so I spent some time this week um, fleshing out the gameplay, fleshing out what exactly the goal of the game was, um, some of the cave generation, dungeon generation, adding a few more monster types and so on. So it's a little more playable in other words. And event essentially what you need to do is find these, these different color orbs by killing monsters. So I believe in the top level here, these little rats only drop green orbs. I think they have like a 30% chance of dropping a green orb or something like that. I just want to find two of these before I move on. So there is one back there, and okay, there's two. So these red objects you see here are what I call traders, and Actually, this is the one I was looking for right here. So this one will trade me 5,000 provisions for two green orbs, which I will go ahead and do. These other traders will do, for instance, this one does one attack boost for five green and one red orb. This one here does one damage for five green, two blue, two red, one yellow, and so on. The actual... Um, trade them, themselves is, is random, but the locations are set. So essentially, to find the higher level orbs, you have to go into these, these caves. And they are hidden in these mountain regions, but instead of searching for one, I'm going to go to where I know one exists already. At around minus 40, 100. Okay, so here's a cave right here. Ah, that spider killed me. And when you die, you just start back from the very beginning. So let me just try that again. I'll go right to the cave this time. As you can tell, there's definitely some uh, gameplay balance that needs to be worked out, which I haven't really tweaked very much at all. Let's see if this one's any easier. Okay, yeah. So, unfortunately, that one have dropped a green orb. the moment the cave generation is kind of monotonous because it tends to result in these dead ends which get kind of tedious and there's also no rooms that get generated The size and the complexity of the level is completely random, and somewhere in the level there's a stairway down.
The number of creatures in the level is also randomly generated. Okay. I think I'm going to need some more provisions if I'm going to continue with this. You need to have positive provisions or else your health no longer regenerates. Oh, there's the way out. How did, okay, how did I get to that? Here we go. Let me see if I can find a trader that will give me provisions. Here's one. Okay. If I enter the cave again, it will um, be randomly generated. So tough. I'm gonna leave. Ah, barely survived that. Just regaining health by moving around. Let's try this one. Oh, okay, I died again. So there's definitely some uh, balancing issues, but that's the general idea. Thanks for watching.